Hi everyone, my name's Tom, I hope you're having a great day. If you didn't know this already, I am a producer and I'm studying music technology at university. So what I thought I would do is start a series of videos documenting different stages of the writing, recording and producing processes that go into the music that I release on this channel. Whether that be covers or my own original music. I thought it might just be interesting for people to see some of the processes that go into recording and producing my own work. And if people do find it interesting or if it helps them in any way with their own production, then that's great. So I've been working on an original track now for a couple of weeks. It's just in a very sort of early demo stage but there's going to be a lot of piano on it and I thought that as I'm out here at the moment in my parents cottage where there is a grand piano in the shed it'd be stupid not to take advantage of that being there and to record the piano itself instead of just using MIDI samples that are already in the computer. I also need to program the intro drums for it but I think I'm going to get the piano done first and then work on the drums later. So yeah let's do it I hope you'll enjoy this. Welcome. Right. This is the piano shed, the piano is just there, and I'm about to set up my microphone. Some guy is like hammering a metal barn together or something over there, which I really hope stops before I actually start recording, because that would be really, really annoying. Anyway, I have two condenser microphones, which I'm planning on using for this. Really, if it was an ideal world, I'd have a lot more, but that's just all I've got. I'm going to be getting some more hopefully at the beginning of next year. But at the moment, what I've got is an AKG C3000B and then like a seven-year-old Behringer B1. It was really, really disgustingly cheap. So I'm hoping that it does the job okay for this. And hopefully with post-production, I can sort out any problems that there might be with it. As long as it's not just broken, that would suck. So the first thing to do is to set up the microphones and you'll be able to see afterwards what I've done. You're my everything. So I've got the mic set up in their initial positions. I may change them. But right now I've got the two of them set up quite close to each other, fairly close to the strings as well, so they're just facing straight down. This is just my initial placement. Because there's quite a lot of background noise here with the hammering and all of that kind of stuff, I would rather be able to add any reverbs in in post-production rather than using a room mic. And also I don't have enough microphones to use a room mic. Not having enough money to buy all the microphones you want, I guess is just something that you have to deal with and work around. So I will show you now close up. So this is the initial placement. I'm hoping that I won't have too many phase issues. That's the Behringer microphone and that's the AKG there. I've got them both put in the midsection because that's the area that most of the notes I'm playing are coming in and if I play stuff specifically down on the bass or really high up stuff I will just record that afterwards. But this is just for the main chords that go throughout the song. I've got everything set up now which is really really good. Connected it all, done a quick like sound check and I'm actually really happy with how the microphones sound where they are. So the microphones are set up there laptop there which connected to my little portable interface here. I've got a much bigger interface than that but that one is just really handy and portable just seemed like the logical thing to use especially since I only had two mics and that's only got two inputs. What I've done initially is I've got the microphones obviously plugged into the interface which is connected to my DAW which is Reason. One of them is panned hard left and the other one is panned hard right to just spread the sound out and what I think I'm going to do was to duplicate those two channels and double track it but with the other two tracks have the panning done the opposite way. Doing that is it will, firstly, I'm hoping get a really nice sound to the piano in general, but it will mean that both microphones are equally represented, both sides of the spectrum, so from left to right. I'll now just put the camera up in the corner and then do some recording and hopefully it will sound good. <laughs> 